It's a privilege to be here today for this very special fixture. Every time they meet each other, these two teams, it is a very special day. Hopefully it lives up to the billing. Join us for the kickoff, and it's live. Chelsea against Tottenham is our main feature for you today. Welcome to you all. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. I remember, it was only what, back in 2016, what turned out to be called the Battle of the Bridge between these two, which ended with uh, more than half the players on the pitch getting yellow cards, I think, and a draw that gave Leicester the title. That's not been forgotten, Alan, has it? No, of course it hasn't. And Stamford Bridge once again buzzing with expectation. I don't think these fans are going to end up disappointed with the contest here, certainly with the quality, because there's loads of talent on this pitch today. Here's the Chelsea lineup. Andreas Christensen plays with Kurt Zuma in central defence. Golo Conte plays alongside Hakim Ziyech in midfield. And here is just the one main attacker in this lineup. This is today's Tottenham Hotspur team. Looking at the lineup, he's got all the components in place, hasn't he? The manager for the pressing style of play has been a feature of his team. Yep, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. Thank you, Stamford. Enjoy the game. I'm sure you're all ready for the London derby, Chelsea against Spurs. Kovacic, Werner, Kurtzuma, that's Filiqueta, Kai Havertz, Ziyech, and the referee blows his whistle, the flag was up for offside. Here's Harry Kane. Great ball from Kane. Well, it was the final ball to set up the chance, and it would have been, but for the interception. Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. That's a missed opportunity on the counter-attack. Well, he's looked, the manager, at what they need in the transfer market, and he's decided that a strong central defender is what's required. And here he is making his debut. Yeah, uh, they uh, conceded one or two sloppy goals, I thought, last season particularly. And uh, in an effort to stop that, he brings in this player who might just be able to plug some gaps. They're not always household names, the full-backs, but I think this player, obviously, he's got the potential to be one. Yeah, we always talk about the attacking qualities of full-backs these days, but what I like about this lad is uh, he's an out-and-out defender, hard to get past. So... Keeper controls it, never looked like bouncing off him. Yeah, it made it look easy, but his positioning did that for him. At Arsenal, Alan McAnally is there with news of a goal in that match. It's a goal for Arsenal. It's been scored by Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. The keeper trying to play sweeper completely missed his clearance and gave his opponents an open goal. 12 minutes played, 1-0. Well, right on the spot there for that story, Alan McAnally, of course. Got his foot in to cut out the pass. in behind the defenders so no real challenge to the defender from that cross well, here comes the corner and the keeper chooses to punch difficult for the defender against the player who wants to take him on like this they read the opponent's mind and got the ball break quickly when they get possession Plenty of space out wide, and they're going to use it. Well, he's read that, hasn't he? And made the interception, made it look easy, actually. Mateo Kovacic. 
Kai Havertz. Ziyech. Good reading of the play, anticipating the pass. Striding forward, purposefully. Well, now they can attack, and he's got support with it. He stopped it pretty creditably, I think. Corner. And here's a possibility of making a chance to go in front. Corner swung in. Son. Mistake by... Son! Well, they've ground down the opposition Spurs to score here. Well, they've swarmed all over them, haven't they? And they've done it in attacking positions. That's a terrific goal. Well, defensively, you could pick holes in it, but the way he attacked it, what a clinical finish. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Here at the kickoff, Tottenham Hotspur are leading. Number seven from Minson. Kurt Zuma, Kai Havertz, Chilwell, Kovacic, Ziyech, that's Filiqueta, Werner, put in from the wide area back into the middle oh they thought they were in but the flag has gone up on the move and able to cut out the pass Spurs trailing in the possession stakes I do wonder whether this was the game plan all along to sit off to allow the opposition to have it and when they do should be Superb save. He shouldn't have had a chance at all with that. Uh, ooh, what about those reflexes? Brilliant. Taking the touch for a short corner now. Tottenham Hotspur in possession here. Sissoko. Probing pass. Hoibier. The defenders managed to get in the way there. Werner. This does look promising. Kane. Tongi Dombele. The fourth official is indicating two added minutes. A minimum of two minutes of any time. That's safely away. Here's Hoybjerg. Son. Read that well with the interception. Well, that's half time at 1 0. Well, they are losing. So we're all set for the second half. Now Tongi Dombele. Sizoka. Song. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. Threads it through. Song. The edge. Manager calling for the press, but he's still got the ball. Kovacic lost the ball. I think there's a goal to tell you about from Alan McAnally at the Emirates. It's a goal for Burnley. 52 minutes, please. 1 1. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. Pulisic. Well, here's an opportunity with the ball over the top. Werner. Tries the shot. And that is in, it's the equaliser for Chelsea. What a good finish too.
Well, for a fraction of a second, Alan, I thought he was going to keep it out. He did get a touch on the ball, the goalkeeper, but in it went. Yeah, he's annoyed with himself there. He's his own harshest critic and he feels he should have done better. So, away we go at one all. Substitution for Spurs coming up. The edge. Well, a real treat in store for you. Coverage on EA Sports of the Premier League fixture. Chelsea, they'll be facing Burnley. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. Can he shoot here? Kane! Can't hang onto it, the keeper. If they continue creating this number of chances, you've got to fancy them to find the back of the net sooner or later. Havertz. Still can't believe that didn't go in. Keeper, what a stop. That's for Tottenham, their next game, Alan. Well, they're playing Manchester United in the next match. And judging on the form so far, I can't see much to split them. Just want to give you some transfer news, Alan. It's the Borussia Dortmund who have bought this fella. Well, you can understand when you see his track record why they've spent about £85 million on him. He's got players helping him here, but he might go alone. Plenty of power, but not too much direction. Christensen. Kovacic. Chilwell. Christian Pulisic. Well, that looked a decent chance to attack until the player managed to read the pass. Well, all credit for taking the volley on, but in the end, nowhere near the target. Well, it's a difficult skill, and you get it off a fraction, and that can happen. It goes wide. Just a quick check on the clock, and there are 20 minutes to go. Musa Sissoko. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Gets his cross in. That could have been difficult, but the defender sorted it out. Conte. A chance to break away now on the counter. Looking to create an opening. He's gone. And shoots! Chance now to go ahead. We knew about the pace, and it was too quick for the opposition. Great goal! Well, what a sight to behold that was. The opposition was absolutely helpless to counter it. It's the kind of goal that forwards love, actually, because it rewards their ability to follow in their anticipation. Yeah, it ends up being a simple-looking goal, but it wasn't. As you say, it was about anticipation. Nothing the manager can do at the moment. His team have lost momentum and they're also losing this match. And this is now time for the change, or the changes, I should say. There are two players coming on. And Tottenham behind. Going forward well. It's a good pass in behind the defenders. It's offside, that's what the assistant has said. Well, when he looks back on that, I think he might be a bit disappointed because the Strikers seem to time his run really well. To the other flank. It's a terrific effort by the home side here. They've just kept their noses in front. And they're going to need all the support they can get for that to continue to the final whistle. Yeah, if they do end up winning this, they will have their fans to thank because they've been terrific out there today. It's a change here and I think it might be a tactical one. Seven more minutes to go. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. And that's dealt with the problem. 
Sissoko. Keeping the ball is one thing, but they've got to try and open up the opposition. Tries the shot. That's great defending with the block. Cotton Hotspur in possession here. Root for the cross. Number seven, Kante. Well, the assistant has flagged straight away for the offside. Well, he's a quick runner, this boy, and if he just delays it for a second, you'd still get in. Well, that's what substitutes are for, to be used. And we've got one coming on now. Ben Chilwell. Now Jorginho. Werner. Three minutes from the referee by the fourth official. That's the decision regarding added time. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Good interception. That is the final whistle. Well, celebration here. A lot of hard graft has gone into the pre-season. You hope that that leads to winning the first game, and that's what's happened for them. Well, I think their supporters will be optimistic this season. They might go places.